the Lord is good. Oh, hallelujah. The Prince of Peace. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful is the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is good. Shalom. Greetings to you all once again. I welcome you, beloved in Christ. Yes, wherever you are connecting us from, you are welcome. We bless you, Lord. I welcome you. Please you help me to reach them by sharing. You share, you share on your timeline. And anybody that you know that have been joining us, you do well to share to the person. You invite a person to join us. Yes, you invite, please, you turn on notifications so that you can write a comment. You turn on the notification button or the bell, the notification bell, so that you can write your comment. If you don't turn on the notification bell, they will tell you you have to join the group before you can comment. So please, as soon as you join, you click on the share finish, you turn on your notification bell. If you have not done it, do it for me. Do it for me. Share the bell. Click on the bell. You share for me. Let me share to our WhatsApp group. Just give me two minutes. Tonight we are here to pray on the topic, let my destiny be loosed. Let my destiny be loosed. Many of us, our destinies have been tied. So we are so frustrated. We don't, we don't know whether we should move forward or we should move backward. Like we are confused in life. We are confused because our destiny is in the hand of somebody or our destiny has been bound or has been chained or our destiny is in the hand of a wrong person. So before we can proceed or we can see our forward or move forward, we have to deal with destiny, destiny hijackers. Demons that hijack people's destiny, powers that fight destinies, powers that make sure anybody born into such a family, so so and so family, does not fulfill destiny or does not uh, fulfill his or her God ordained plans and purposes in life. Hallelujah. Keep sharing for me as you have been doing already. Just give me two minutes. To share to our WhatsApp group so that people can just uh, join from our WhatsApp group because not all people uh, know much about the internet. This internet issue is something else. So, yes, many people sometimes they get confused, but we must cope whatever comes in our way because the adversary fighting this ministry, they are doing all their best. To make sure people do not join Gagal Global Prayers. Because that is their aim. That is their mission. That is their target. Their target is to make sure nobody joins Gagal Global Prayers. Why? Because Gagal has been setting people free. This ministry has been breaking so many things that they have tied on God's children to suffer. So when we come like this, they try all kinds of things. They do all kinds. They release all kinds of of attacks just to make sure or to this uh to interrupt our meeting but you just bear with us whatever comes whatever comes whatever that may happen you must bear with us cope with us and just move as we move forward hallelujah god bless you the book of jeremiah 29 verses number 11 god almighty say i know the thought that i think towards you it is thought of peace not of evil to give you an expected end i know the thought that i think towards you it is thought of peace not of evil 
I, the Lord, my thought for you, or, or my, my plans for you, is to get the expected end. That means every individual on earth, you must have an expectation that at the age of 30, I must be able to achieve this. At the age of 40, I must be able to achieve this. At the age of 50, I must be able to achieve this. That is your expectations in life. Hallelujah. There are people that once lived that were that were able to fulfill destiny. One of them that inspired me most is Joseph. I usually talk about Joseph because Joseph was one person that was able to fulfill God's purposes, his plans, what he was destined to come into. When we talk about destiny, it is your 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 path, the path that you are working on it. The path, that is your destiny, your destination, where you want to reach, where you are traveling to, where you are going, that is your destiny. Many people, it is so sad, many people, because of the family and the background that we are born into, some of us, as soon as we enter that family, they tied and changed everything. They make us frustrated and so confused. So instead of the person, the person had that vision or had a plan that I want to become a doctor. I want to become a nurse. I want to be a, um, a physiotherapist. I want to this. I want to be this. I want to be that. But because of that family that that person is being born into, they frustrate his vision or her vision. So that person will end up being a drug addict and uh, being a street hawker and uh, being somebody that he or she was not destined to become hallelujah the devil has been changing destinies let me tell you that way let me let you know that way because the devil has been changing many destinies he has been frustrating many people he has been distracting many people from who or, or who they want to become who they want to become hallelujah so i want to first of all i want to explain to you uh eight or nine steps or ten steps that you can take to fulfill destiny or fulfill god's plans and purposes for your life hallelujah if i want to become somebody in the near future that is all what i want to mean if you want to become somebody if you want your children to become somebody if you want your grandchildren to become somebody what should i do so that i will be able to fulfill that destiny what i i am called or what god brought me on this earth to come and do hallelujah hallelujah what are the steps what am i going to do as a child of god what should i do to be able to fulfill destiny i know many of you have been hearing destiny your destiny your destiny your destiny yes it's your path it's where you are going where you, what, who you want to be. Hallelujah. So the first step, how to fulfill destiny, you must be prayerful. That is the most important thing. Be prayerful. Jesus Christ said, man up to pray with that season. Man up to pray with that season. Because anything that you want to become, without prayers, you can never fulfill it. Without being prayerful, you reach, you, you try, you start along the line, you fall and you can't rise again because there is no divine, there is no power supporting you because in life, life is full of ups and downs. Today you are down because you have God with your side or on your side, tomorrow you rise again. So you have to embark any plans and purposes, support it with prayers, hallelujah. The first step is to be a prayerful man. Be a prayerful woman. Prioritize your time that within the day, at least two, day, two, two times within the day, I'm going to pray. Three times within the day, I'm going to pray. Be a prayerful. And if, you, if you are in your working place, just meditate. Open your mouth and pray. If Whenever you find yourself in your washroom, pray, Lord, my destiny. Lord, guide me. Lord, redirect my steps. What I am supposed to do. Father, I want to become like this. Father, please help me. Your vision, the second point is have vision for your life. You have vision. When you cross your eye, you know you want to become like this. You want to be a doctor. That doctor, you can't just wake up one day and take your, your file and say, I'm going to the hospital to start operation. It's a process. And that process, you need to embark it with prayers. 
If you want to become a lawyer, you can't just wake up one day and go and, and put your, your helmet or something on it and say, I'm going to the courtroom to be law. You must practice it. You must start something. You must start from somewhere. So you first of all, have vision for your life. Have vision. Who do you want to become? Who do you want your son to become? Have a role model. Put somebody in front of you. Somebody that has been able to fulfill destiny. I want to become like this man. In the history, there is a man I want to become like the president, the former president of Ghana. He tried. He did this. I want to become like the queen, the queen mother of England. Just learn the steps of that woman. How she rise and fall. The challenges that she went through. The temptations that she went through. That she was able to stand. You must have somebody in mind that I want to reach this level. Have vision. Don't be a visionless person. Don't be moving around that you don't know what you want to become. Everybody have something in mind. Though you are serving God, all right, you are living righteous life. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? What do you want to become? Ask yourself all these questions and start putting things down. Start putting things down, yes. Don't just wake up, eat and sleep. And, and then when money comes, because you don't have anything, you don't have anything to use your money for, you'll be using your money to buy, 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 buy. But if you have vision that I want to be like this, I want to be the, the, the biggest businesswoman in my community. I want to be the, big, the biggest business tycoon, the known business tycoon in my community. You must start. So as you put all these plans just get your, your notes. Every day, write something. Write something. Write something. I want to be this. What should I do? Do research. Do research. Christians are the, the only religion that do no research. Only what is written in the Bible. No research. No research. We don't research. We don't do anything. What is written in the Bible, we quote it. We cannot even come out of the box to make to, to explain to people what actually God means. That word that was written, as soon as it's written, we will not do research, we will not find procedures, we will not learn much about the people that went before us, how they were able to stand, how they were able to cope, how they were able to overcome all the challenges and the obstacles that came on their way. You must do research. She must do research. Whoever you want to become, whatever you, whatever you want to be, do research. Start researching. You know, when you see, sometimes when I sit and I watch 55-year-old men still in school, university, I ask myself, what do they want? Or they think they are going to live to 200 years. You know, when you, 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 you reason physically, and you don't think of how you ask, you think they are wasting their life. But on daily basis, they want to learn new things. They want to learn new things. They want to improve on what they have already been able to achieve. Because on daily basis, things are changing. Things are not the same like we used to know. On daily basis, new syllables, new things are emerging. So if you don't study and you just keep to the old thing that you studied, the year uh, 1885, you'll be a cake. So all the time, do research, have time, have time, have vision. Who do you want to become? Consider how, when, where, why, and what you will do to activate your vision. What am I going to do to become a doctor? How can I become that businessman? That I want to be. How do I become that businesswoman that I want to be? How do I become that powerful woman of God? Or I want to be like Catherine Coleman. I want to be like uh, Papa Adebayo. I want to be like uh, Apostle uh, Joshua Salman. I want to be like Archbishop Duncan Williams. How do you become like them? You can't just wake up one day and say, I want to be like Archbishop Duncan Williams. No way. No way. He had vision. He pressed something that he was working towards it. How? Why? Why? Ask yourself, why do I even want to become like him? Why do I? You know, you, when you sit down and you ask yourself all these questions, you get answers and you start moving forward. You start putting things in order. You start taking steps. When you move from one step, the next day you prioritize another thing. What am I going to do? All these things. 
when you start your life this way, you end well. You will not waste your time. You will not be left behind. Your timing, you operate on the right time. Because you want to become a doctor at a 30. You have, you have set a specific year that you want to achieve your career. When you wake up every day and you are watching television, watching television, watching telenovels, and you don't read, will you be able to achieve what you want to become at the specific time? No, you write your exams and you fail. You write it and you fail. So when you plan for your vision, when you make your visions plain, you make it plain. I want to be this. Every day you are praying, God help me. Help me to achieve this. Father, help me. I want to reach this standard. I want to spend the rest of my life in this place. I don't want to live in this village that I was born. I don't want my children to live in this city. I want to spend the rest of my life with my children in this city. You must start working towards it. When you start working towards it, another point that you have to have in mind is that obstacles may come your way. Obstacles may come your way. Upon all your visions that you had, Joseph had a vision. He had a dream. He woke up one day and said, I had a dream. I have a dream that one day my whole family will bow to me. But just imagine the obstacles that came on his way. When we study the Bible, we shouldn't just learn it just like that. Too. We must apply it to our life. Obstacles, beware of obstacles, ups and downs. Life is full of ups and downs. You rise to the top and you come back and start again. Do not be discouraged. Be well determined that no matter what, nothing will make me stop who I want to become. That is me. Me? I don't know what will frustrate me. I don't know the obstacle that will come on my way for me to stop. The destiny that I want to fulfill. That is why you cross me here. The next day I'm here. You brought me here. The next day I'm here. You fight me here. The next day I'm here. Because I have, I am well determined. And I have said to myself. I will never allow any obstacle. That will come my way to stop me. I quite remember when I, the first day I was traveling. The first day that I was leaving my children in the village. To travel to find my destiny. When I was coming, the children were crying. And I can feel it within my, my intestine, within my stomach. It was like I'm having stomach pain. But it, it, wasn't an, it wasn't a stomach pain. It was within my intestine that I feel pain like a mother. But I said to myself, I have destiny to fulfill. I have to leave you children. I will come for you at the right time. When I find my way, because sometimes you have to take the hardest decision. Though obstacles are there, but if you don't take the hardest decision, you miss your target. Who you want to become, you will never become. If I check the kids that were crying, that were crying, when they cried, did they die? No. They cried. Did they die? They are still there. I am who I am today. If I did not set that I will, I have to reach this standard. I have to go and find the dream that I have been dreaming. The dream that I have been dreaming. I shouldn't let this obstacle, this thing that have come my way to strip me naked from hero to zero. I will never let this thing kidnap me or bind me or keep me in one place. Beware of obstacle. In your journey of finding your destiny, beware of challenges. Consider obstacles. Think about everything that may occur or become a circumstance and that may prevent your vision from birthing forth. Think about it because along the line it will come. The next point, overcome barriers. <laughs> you know limitations. 
the family that we are coming from, the limitations from that area that nobody is supposed to travel abroad, it is a limitation from there. That nobody is supposed to get a good husband, it's a limitation from there. That nobody is supposed to get a husband and also have children, it's a limitation from there. So all these barriers, try your best to overcome it. Overcome barriers barriers, limitations, and hindrances around the way may be seen, but you can always do your best not to let this thing put you in one position, not to let this thing stop you. You, you rise, you go to level two, they will, they will limit you, they will close the door, they will bring you to one to come and start again. Do not be discouraged. Come back and start again. You write the exams, the first one you failed, you write again, the second one you failed, write again, third one you failed, write again until you get it. One thing that I learned from the current sitting president of Ghana, he went for election, he lose. After eight years, after yes, eight years, he went again. After four years, he went again, he lose. He went again the third time he win. You just wrote one examination, you failed and you, you don't want to write again. You wrote just uh, the first one you failed and oh, I, don't, I don't think I will, I will pass. Keep writing. These are the barriers that you must be able to overcome. The limitations that you must be able to overcome. You went and did IVF. You want to have your case before you finish, before you cross age 40. You are you have you, you had a vision that age 40, I must I must upgrade myself. I must go back to school at 835. I must go back to school. So you have prioritized your life that I want to have all my kids before I reach 836 to, so that I can get access to upgrade myself and limitations are crossing you. After marriage, the babies are not coming. You went for first IVF. It, you, you had miscarriage. If you have money, try again. They are the barriers, limitations. Try to overcome it. It is part of the, the journey. Limitations. It is part of the journey. That is why all the time you keep seeing yourself. You you be you be in a car, the car will be speeding, the car will be speeding. In January, you see your, you saw yourself in a car. The car was speeding in your dream. You were so happy. In February, you saw yourself in the car. The car was speeding. In March, you saw yourself coming from a top mountain. You just fall from that top mountain. Rise up and go again. Start climbing. Start climbing. Don't let that limitations. What is said? What is blocking people in your background? What is stopping people in your background? I keep telling you, I'm from a family that we don't struggle with uh, uh, this uh, intelligence. But to go to school, that is a limitation. Somebody will go reach uh, senior high school, left it one year to complete, <laughs> to go to uni. That person will just pack the truck bus and come home. Sometimes we will run away from school. That our parents don't even know that we, we have run away. By the time they go and look for us, we've run away from the school. We don't know what have been driving people away. That is the limitation. Your family, there is something there that is driving people from their purposes and plans in life. Learn, discover it. Find what is fighting people in your background. Find what is fighting people in your father's background, in your mother's background, and start working towards it. How do you overcome it? Through prayers. Pray every day. Target that thing. Target what is making people useless. Target what is making people illiterate. They are not born to be illiterate. Oh. Money is there, but they don't like going to school. They have head, good head to study well, 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 but they, they don't feel like going to school. They will go to school and they will come back home. They will go and something will go and drive them away. Overcome all these things along the journey to fulfill destiny before you can fulfill it. All this thing that I'm making mention of today, try your best to overcome it. Overcome barriers. Overcome barriers. The next point, work harder towards whatever you want to become. You, you, you know, when you sit down and say, I want to be a billionaire, 
and you are a people teacher or just a trained teacher and that is the only job you do how do you become a billionaire with the money that the government is paying you how much is the salary of a teacher how much is, is your salary you must invest take part of your salary invest in a business that will add extra money to the salary that you are earning every month through that you can you can grow out through that you can grow out because you can't be uh, taking your salary of thousand. When you take the thousand, the same thousand, you are taking transportation, you are taking electricity bills, you are taking water bills, you are taking feeding fee, you are taking children's uh, school fees. Everything is for how are you going to become a billionaire? How are you going to become a billionaire unless you invest? You have additional business or additional job that is adding an income to what you have been earning every month. So every month when you decide, oh, I'm going to use the income that comes from this contract that I took from the government. I'm going to use that to cater for the home. And my investment, the income coming from that investment, I will put, I will put it in the bank so that it will be yielding for me every month. Through that you can get money. But when you sit in one position... It is difficult. When I see people praying for financial breakthrough, financial, meanwhile, they are not working. How do you gain that financial breakthrough? I overcome poverty. I declare you are out of poverty. The person is not working. Take the person, the strategy, the ideas, the ways that that person can pass to overcome that poverty. Because poverty, you may be born into that 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 family but you can use just three years four years to change things your father is poor your mother is poor what should you do you can't use your mouth to say i cast the yoke of poverty from my family i cast it why you you are jobless you don't know anything to do you don't know how you are going to even get money you don't have the idea. How are you going to cast that poverty out? You have to start working. Be a hardworking person. Be a hardworking and start investment. Invest every little money that you get. The money that you get that you use to buy clothing. I tell you, many of you, you don't need to be buying clothing at this initial age. You need to change things around. Change things before you start buying beautiful clothing, so... Your father couldn't have achieved any property. Your father is in the in the sixties. Some of you, your father is even no more. Some of you, your parents are no more. They didn't leave any house for you. They didn't leave any property for you. You have now started working, and you want to wear like Jay Z. You want to wear like Fifty Cent. You want to wear like Rihanna. Your mind is not working. Your mind is not working. You have to start a foundation. You have to start a future. Start something that I want to achieve my own house. I want to live in my own house. Have this vision in mind. When you have something that you want to achieve, that I want to build my own house, I cannot live in this family house that all the siblings are sharing one bedroom. I can't live in this, this place. I have to change things. So when I get money, what should I do? I will not give to women. If I'm a lady, I'm not going to use my money to care for any man. The money that we used to care for man, to buy underwear, to buy panties, to buy belt, to, to feed that man because I want to marry him. I will use that money to invest. When I get my own house, when I am able to, when I am financially stable, the right person will come. The right person will come. Three days today, I was talking to one of our sisters and I said, no, there are so many things that we need to sit down and we need to change it. Make changes. Because many of us, where we were born, the background that we were born to, no minister will come to that level to marry us. No minister will come. Because when you just look around, rich people, they want their children to marry rich people. Is it a lie? It's true. Rich people want their children to marry rich people. So you, that is poor. Definitely you are going to marry a poor man. So if you want to get access to marry a rich man, what should you do? Change the standard that you were born into. Try to change it. When you are able to change it, to reach the standard of ministers, reach the standard of MPs, reach the standard of uh, uh, committee, or uh, 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 how do you say, MCEs and DCEs, definitely you get some to marry. But the fact that you are still inside the pit, the sunshine, it is difficult for you to see sunshine. It is not easy for you to get such people to marry. 
It is not easy for you to get set people to marry. So change things in your life. Your destiny is in your hand like an egg. It's up to you to live it well. It's up to you to manage it. It's up to you as you're praying to God, you put physical effort. Don't pray 24-7 and expect God to rain manna from your ceilings to you so that you become billionaire. Don't sit and eat, eat, you drink your coffee, you take your cigarette and you sleep. Oh God, open the front gate of heaven and rain blessing. You think God is a lazy man? He used seven days, six days to work. And he used one day to rest. How many days are you resting as a child of God? How many days are you using to work? Many of you, the time for working is the time you're using to work telenovela. Many of you, the time that you can use to get money, you're using to gossip on phone. Many of you, the time that you're using to, you, you, you can use to, to get something to add value to your life, you are using to go to fight, fighting. You set camera on you, in front of you, just fighting battles that are not even concern you. You just set camera on you and you, you just begin. Go, 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 go. That hours, my dear, used to do something that will add income, that will bring income to your life. Stop wasting your time. Those that you are watching them on television, those that you are seeing them, it is their job that they are doing, you know. Those actors and actresses, they are doing their job. Those that you waste, you waste your money to go and buy that CD or you watch it on your D DSTV, yes. Or you just open your, your YouTube and you sit two hours, three hours, just watching part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Many of you even want part six. Because that movie is, hey, this movie, hey, it is interesting. It is somebody's ways of getting money. You to create something that will give you money. Create something that will give you money. Stop wasting your time. It is time that church wake up into hard working. God Almighty said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse number 6, say, you, you the sluggard, you lazy, go to the ant, consider the ways of the ant and be wise. Go to the ant. You strong guide. That means don't sit and wait for God to bless you. Don't sit and wait and expect God to God destiny help us. I call you. I call you. What have you done to deserve help us? What what is your 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 investment in the life of others? How far have you helped people that you think you deserve people to help you? You know it is give and take. -o. Jesus Christ said, what you want others to do unto you, do unto them. So before you receive destiny helpers, the book of remembrance must first of all be opened. Life is not governed by miracle. Life is governed by principles. You sow what you reap. Have you sow? Have you invested? Many people, oh God, I need destiny helper in the life of my children. How far have you helped other people's children? Before God to bring that destiny help us, you must do something. You must do something before you can receive that destiny help us. Life is governed by principle. So what God is a principle person. That is why we have something called methodically. He is, he do everything. Method, 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 method. What you do is what you do. All those that we are quoting their blessings. Oh, oh, Mordecai. Mordecai did something that deserves an award. So in his difficult time, the Bible said the book of remembrance was being opened. And they saw that it was written in that book that Mordecai is the one that saved the life of the king. So in times of difficulties, that book of remembrance was opened. And God remembered him. What have you done? When it is time for donation, there you run away. You not even wait for announcements. When we talk about, oh, giving to needy, it is there you run away. You not even wait for us to make the announcement. And you want destiny help us. God is not like that too. God, you sow and you reap it. If you don't sow it, it will never multiply for you to reap. If you don't sow it, it will never multiply. Sow today and the increase of it, it will multiply. It will yield for you tomorrow. That is your destiny. How far are you running your life? Are you misusing your life? Are you wasting your life? From today, I want your dream to wake up. 
If you are just in the church 24-7, many of you, I want to become a pastor. 24-7, you are in the church. I want to be a prophet. Oh. Ah, for us, we are the servant. Oh. We are the junior prophet of Susan and so prophet. We are the junior pastors of Pastor Susan and so. Go and find something to do because that pastor is building his destiny. That pastor is on his path. Oh, you see somebody say, I want to be like, uh, 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 who, uh, these prayers. Me, I don't watch football, so I don't know some. I want to be like this footballer. How did this, that footballer started? How did he started? If you want to be like him, dig the root of that person. Pass through the same process. Pass through the same ways. Work with your hands. Don't be in church 24-7. Sweating without working. You are wasting your time on earth. You are wasting your time. Monday you are in church. Tuesday you are there. Wednesday you are there. Thursday you are there. You go morning 6 o'clock and close evening 6 o'clock. You come home, you cook and eat and you sleep. Monday service. Tuesday service. Thursday service. Wednesday service. Friday service. All of them you are present. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. It will be very difficult for you to fulfill destiny. It will be very difficult for you to fulfill destiny. Prayers alone cannot make you somebody. Who. Prayers alone. Prayer with hard work. When you support your effort with prayers, then you see breakthrough. When you do not support your effort with prayers, forget. When you pray and you don't work, forget. When you, when you work and you don't pray, also forget. So you have to prioritize. Try, you know... Create a schedule, a schedule, create a schedule. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here in Saudi Arabia, they pray five times a day. Each of the prayers is 30 minutes. When they, when they hear the siren, every, every shop closed. They go worship their God. Within the 30 minutes, they return to work. They return to work. They pray, but they work. So why can't Christians do the same thing? Within 20 minutes, 20 seconds, you can be in your bathroom. Just pray. You can be in your secret place. Just pray. The time that you use to gossip, use that time to think about your life. Think about who you want to become. Think about where you are going. There are people in your life, do they qualify to move with you? Just leave them. There are people that you have to leave them behind so that you can speed in life. There are people, friends, close friends, relatives, family members that are always holding your heel backward when you are trying to move forward. Think, sit down and think and say to yourself, these people must not go with me. I must go alone. I must go alone. Create a schedule, a timetable for your life. Measure your goals. Track the steps you are taking towards your goals. Your goal is this. Measure it. The resources that you need to achieve that goal. The money that you need to start that business. All these things must be taken into consideration. Point number nine. Keep on moving. Along the line, something will hold you. You fall as I have already told you. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Until you reach where you are going and who you want to become. I seated here. When people call me and say, when are you going to Ghana to do the kingdom work? I say, I have set a goal for myself. That when I finish that thing, I will go into full ministry. Yes. Unless I reach where I want to reach spiritually. I will never start any physical ministry. I will never go into full-time ministry. I must be well prepared underground. I must go through a lot of attacks, a lot of battles. I must be able to fight and defeat. Fight and win many battles so that I become used to so many things that, that will confront me along the line in ministry. The challenges in ministry, I must test it. The trials, I must test it. 
the lifestyle of people around you i must know all these things i can't just rise up and say because i can pray for people to get healing because i can pray for doors to open i want to start a church i'm not in a rush that is why people start and they don't finish they start and they don't finish because they did not sit down they did not look deep think forward about what you want to become, what you are doing, the obstacles, the consequences, the trials, the challenges, the attacks, the battles that will come, all these things, you must be able to get strength, to overcome it. Maybe it is business that you are planning to enter into a business, to go to Dubai, to go to China, to go to, uh, uh, to, go to Germany, or to go anywhere to bring goods. Check all these things. Check all these things. The attacks that will come. Customs can just arrest you and take all your goods within a day. How prepared are you? When they take your goods, will it be your end? Or you can just rise up again. All these things you must take into consideration. You can't just get uh, $100,000 and say, I want to take all the $100,000 a day to go and bring goods. What of if I'm robbers meet you on the way and take the money? What are you going to do? You go mad. So all these things you must sit and prioritize. I'm going to use 50. When I use 50 and even if something bad happened to that 50, I still have 50 in the, in the bank to help me rise up again. The reason why many people enter into business, they fall down and they can't rise up again is because they don't have anything back in them. They don't have anything in their account. They, they have not prepared. They just wake up one day and took all their money, went for goods and it just caught fire. And they came down, they couldn't get anybody to support them again. All this thing that I'm teaching you today, not every, every day, spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. Sometimes we need reality, we need so many things. We need to just get an idea of what we want to become and who we want to become. God bless you for listening to Word of Knowledge. And also, it's advice, it's an encouragement, it's an eye-opening to guide you in your destiny. When we talk about destiny, it's not spiritual, it's physical, where you want to be, physical. Who you want to be, physical. It's just that some families that we are born into, they tie so many things. There are so many restrictions in that family. There are so many blockages and barriers that they have set in that family. So with prayers, you'll be able to overcome all these barriers. Our time is gone. Lift your hand up and say, God, I thank you for today. Let me, letting me hear your word and your wisdom. Open your mouth and begin to thank God as you pray. Open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I magnify you lord i give you all the praises lord i give you all the praises lord i give you all the praises lord i thank you i thank you i thank you i thank you thank you lord for everything that you have done for me everything that you have done for me everything that you have done for me i magnify you oh lord i lift your name on high oh lord i glorify you this moment i pray for your wisdom I pray for understanding. I pray that Lord God Almighty, you will lead me in everything that I do. You will lead me in everywhere that I go. From today, Lord God Almighty, I request and I ask for your wisdom. I ask for understanding. I ask for your power. I ask for your strength. I pray that you be with me. You go with me everywhere I go. Everything I do. Father, I pray that if I have done anything wrong against you, forgive me oh lord if i have done anything wrong father forgive me open your mouth and ask god to forgive you everything that you have done ask god oh god almighty forgive me everything that i have done everything that i have done anything that i have done lord god almighty forgive me and from today give me strength open your mouth and say lord god almighty give me strength give me wisdom 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, I need your grace to pray, to overcome all barriers. Today, I receive your grace to overcome all barriers. I receive your grace to overcome all trials. I receive power to climb, to climb, to overcome every limitation. Open your mouth and pray. Lord God Almighty, uplift me, uplift 
with my spiritual life. Strengthen me, O oh Lord. Open your mouth and pray to God. Strengthen me, O oh Lord. Give me spiritual strength. Oh God Almighty, give me power. Give me power to overcome every power that is limiting people in marriage, limiting people in politics, limiting people in business, limiting people in career, limiting people in education. From my background, I receive authority and power over them, and power over them, and power over them. Say, Lord God Almighty, I receive power over destiny hijackers, nation hijackers, blessing hijackers, marital hijackers, hijackers from my community, hijackers from my community, hijackers from my hometown, from my village, from my paternal, maternal background. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over them. Open your mouth and pray. I take authority over them. 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 Say, Lord God Almighty, any veil that you are using to cover me, to brandfold me, to prevent me from fulfilling destiny, I declare that veil is, is burned into ashes. I declare every veil that you are using to cover my sight, to block me from seeing forward, or to block me from finding my way, to block my way, to divert my path, or veils or garment, to distract me, to brandfold me in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, let it catch fire. I declare, let it catch fire. I declare, let it catch fire. Every veil that you are using or every garment that the enemies or the devil or the powers or the ancient serpent is using to cross my way, to block me, to cover my sight from finding my right way in life or finding purposes, your plans and purposes for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it catch fire. 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 Say, Lord God Almighty, let every veil broken my sight, making it difficult for me to see front, making it difficult for me to face front. Let that veil from today catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, say, Lord God Almighty, let there be illumination in all realms of my life. Let there be light. Let there be light in my ways. From today, redirect my path. From today, lead me, O oh Lord. Lead me not into temptation. Lead my children not into temptation. Lead my husband not into temptation. Lead us to the right path. Lead us to the fountain of waters. Lead us to the right path. Oh God of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, we cry to you, oh Lord, lift every brightness, lift every brightness, lift every brightness. We declare, we declare the veil of brightness making it difficult for us to see our way is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed. We declare the veil of darkness Blindfolding us, covering our mind, covering our sight, blocking our sight. It is destroyed. It is destroyed. Say, Lord God Almighty, right now as I'm before you, anywhere my destiny has been tied, whether it is tied in a talisman around the waist of the head of the of the family, or it is tied under that big tree in front of this of the um, of our home, or in front of in front or uh, or uh, uh, that big tree in the city, or that big tree at the back of a house, or that flower tree at the back of a house, or in front of a house. Say, Lord God Almighty, wherever my destiny has been. Tied in the name of Jesus Christ, I lose myself. I lose myself on the account of your brother, Lord. I lose my destiny. I lose my destiny. Wherever they have tied my destiny, my brother's destiny, my sister's destiny, my sons and daughters, my grandchildren's destiny, Lord God Almighty, to make them useless, to make them useless, to make them vulnerable in the in the, in the family, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
We lose them. 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 Say, Lord God Almighty, anybody making incantation to make us fail in destiny, to make our children fail, to make our husband fail, or our wife fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their plans be destroyed. Let their plans be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say to yourself, I shall fulfill destiny. God's plans and purposes concerning my life will come to pass. I will be who I have planned to be. I will fulfill destiny. I will never be useless. Declare to yourself, I will never be useless. Open your mouth and say, my children will never be useless. My children will never be vulnerable. My children will never be beggars. I will never be a beggar. I will never beg to eat. I will never beg to wear. I will never beg to get a place to sleep. My children will never beg to eat. My children will never beg to eat. They will never beg to wear. They will never beg to wear. They will never beg to wear. We will flourish like the palm tree. We will flourish like the palm tree. My children will never be vulnerable. They will never be vulnerable. They will never be vulnerable. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare to yourself, my life will be a testimony. My life will be a testimony. My life will never be will, will never be in bondage. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Say I come out. I come out of the bondage of the enemy where they have they've kept me, where they have kept me. I am coming out. I am coming out where they have kept me, where they have bind me, where they have tied me, where they have chained me. I declare the chains are broken today. It is broken. It is broken. The chains chaining my legs, chaining my hands, tying me down, making me useless, making me a uh, 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 vulnerable. That that chains is broken. Say chains are broken from the life of my children. Declare chains are broken out from the life of my husband or from the life of my wife or from the life of my family. Chains are broken. The chains of vulnerability, the chains of hopelessness, the chains of disappointment, the chains of joblessness. It is broken today. Open your mouth and declare that chains are broken today. It is broken. It is falling down. It has fallen. It has fallen. It has fall, it has fall, it has fall. He cut that double, zebra yade, rubber bubble, let cabiade, macapaya dosa. It has fall, every chase, chaining me down, blocking me, restricting me, limiting me. Say, the chains of limitation is broken down. The chains of limitation is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. Is broken, is broken, is broken. Let Capian de Macapaya dosa. Chains are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare to yourself every demonic sentence, evil sentence on my destiny, predictions, predictions of the enemy concerning my destiny. Say that prediction, it is broken today. Every demonic predictions, predictions concerning my destiny is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed. Anybody that have predicted that I will fail, you are a failure. Anybody that have predicted that I will beg to eat, you are a failure. You will never prevail. Your predictions, I destroy it, I destroy it, I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, every evil prophecy, prophecy from the womb of the dragon, from the womb of the monsters to put my destiny in a cage. Do you know sometimes the devil through some false men of God will give you a prophetic word that will make you lazy. 
Oh, at the age of 50, somebody will come from the United States of America. A billionaire will come to you. And that billionaire will marry you. And all your problem will solve. Meanwhile, this is a false prophecy. You used to sell your egg to eat. And after hearing this prophetic word, you, you start behaving, oh, I shouldn't even suffer because very soon that billionaire will come. If there is a billionaire coming to marry me before the end of this year, why should I suffer? That is another way of making distracting people from their destinies, from, from, from who they want to become. Some of them, as soon as you go to church, the pastor will just eye you one on one. Yes, I and say, you know, you are going to marry a great worthy man of God. Meanwhile, in the sight of God, God has not ordained you to marry any man of God. Oh, a man of God is coming to marry a billionaire. So the things, many of us, we are the one to, to be. We are the, we are the pillar of our family. And these prophecies and predictions will put you in a state that you will never toil by yourself. You will never labor by yourself. You, you, you start to depend on others because you've received a prophetic word that a man of God is coming your way and that man of God, you, he will not even allow you to cook. We are praying now. We are praying now. <clears throat> we are praying. Any prediction from the womb of the devil. Any false prophecy that has been released to distract us in the name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire now. Open your mouth and pray. Every false prophecy that has been released to distract us, to distract us, to distract us in the name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Every evil predictions from the womb of the beast, from the from the bottomless pit to distract you, to distract you in the name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire. Let every distractive agent around you, distracting you in the form of I will marry you, in the form of I will take you abroad. Let that power be exposed and be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. Say, Lord God Almighty, let every agent that has been assigned to destroy my destiny to destroy my son's destiny. Let that power, let that agent catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Let every Luciferian agent on assignment to distract me, to destroy, to kill my destiny, to kill my husband's destiny, to kill my wife's destiny. Let that Luciferian agent around me or my son or my daughter or my husband or my wife be exposed by the Holy Ghost fire, be exposed by the consuming fire, be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say destiny killers around me. Say destiny killers. Destiny killers. Agent from the marine kingdom that has been assigned for me Wherever you are, receive fire and burn into ashes. Receive fire and burn into ashes. Receive fire and burn into ashes. Anybody coming to make my way crooked because your destiny is your way, it's your path. The word of God said there is a way that seemed right in the sight of men, but the end of that way is destruction. Any destiny killer that is in to remove me from God ordained ways. Into a way that the end is solo. Into a way that the end is distraction. Into a way that the end is pain and rejection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be arrested from my life. Be arrested from my life. Be arrested from my life. Say Lord God Almighty. Sometimes. Destiny killers will come in the form of best friends. Friends that you'll be sharing your opinions. Friends that you'll be eating together, sleeping together, bathing together. Some of these people are on assignment. Some are Luciferian agent. Yes.
you turn it on, you know, your, your notification, the bar, you know, when you touch your screen, let me do something to show you. You know, when you touch your screen like this, you see the bell, the bell, make sure you remove the bar from the bell. When you click on this, you see, let me click on it. Oh, this one you are insane. You see the bar is on it. You see the bar, click on it to remove the bar. When you, when you see the bar like this, you see the bar on the bell, this side, you click on it to remove the bar. Yes, then you receive notification and you can comment. So please, you do it. You, you touch on your screen. You can just remove the bar from the notification, the, the, the bar from the bell, and you can, you can comment. Yes. Yes. Yours is off. <laughs> Try your best. After the program, try so that you can, you know how to turn it on. You know how to turn it on. Yes, we are praying anybody that has been assigned. Anybody that has been assigned purposely to kill your destiny. Purposely to frustrate you. Some of them, they will come in the form of husband. Oh. They will come and marry you and bury who you want to become. Some of them will see potential in you and Lucifer will send his angels, his messengers, his handsome men. You see them so handsome. Hey, this man, the Akai. When I move with this, I can see his, you know, he's my type. As soon as you get that thing, ah, they have gotten you. After marriage, who you want to become, you can't. What you want to be, it's like you be under bondage. You'll be under bondage. That is why many people, you hear them saying, my husband wasn't like that. My wife wasn't like that. Immediately we finish marriage. One year after marriage, everything have changed. He was on a mission. You didn't know. That man was on a mission. You know, Christians, if you are a prayerful mama, not only pray, you know, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Because the devil went through human beings. They work through human beings. When they see that you are a single lady, they will set the trap through marriage. When they see that you are a single man, they will set the trap through marriage. If you are not vigilant and you don't seek the opinion of God in everything you do, you fall into the trap. You will fall into the trap. I keep setting an example to you that there were many anointed women of God, anointed people. They used to sing. When they sing, those that have converted, those that, that, that used to be in that dark kingdom and have come to light, when they start confessing, they will tell you this woman, anytime she start worshiping, there was a shake in our kingdom under the sea. And this person, through marriage, the, the husband will just Gradually, 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 turn her from God into worthiness. You see them, they will go for liposuction to increase their booty, to remove their, their hair. And from that time, even straight dress, the devil will make them stop wearing. You see them with tight trousers, trousers, uh, dresses that will expose the shape, that, that fake shape, that false booty. Fall shape. The devil start using them as a as a as a notice board, yes, as an advertising board to advertise to win souls. We are praying once again. We are praying once again. Say, Lord God Almighty. I free my soul through your blood. Just declare this word for me. Through your blood, set me free. By your blood, set me free. I free my soul through your blood, oh Lord. Let my soul, wherever they are keeping my soul, wherever they've taken captive of my soul, wherever they've bound me, wherever they've caged me, set me free, oh Lord. Set me free, oh Lord. Set me free, O 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 oh Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, say, Lord God Almighty, let the stronghold of the enemy in my life to destroy my destiny, let that stronghold be broken. Let the stronghold of the enemies in my life just to destroy my destiny, let that stronghold be broken now. Let every stronghold of the devil in my life be broken. Let every stronghold be broken. Let the stronghold hold of the enemy in my life now, in my son's life, in my husband's life, on my wife's life, on my mom, on my daddy, on my siblings, be broken now, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Say, Lord God Almighty, we are in the month of November, heading towards Christmas. Lord God Almighty, Remove our souls from satanic markets. Market that they've taken our souls there to sell us. Market that they've taken our son's souls, our daughter's souls, our mother's and father's souls. Father, remove my soul. Say, Lord God Almighty, remove my soul. Lord God Almighty, remove my souls. Remove my soul. Remove my son's soul from satanic market. From market that they are going to kill me. From market that they want to kill my son. From market that they want to kill my daughter. Remove my soul. Remove my soul. Remove my soul. Remove my soul. <coughs> Remove my soul. Remove my soul. Let my soul escape every accident. Say, Lord God Almighty, this month, let me escape every accident. Let my sons and daughters escape every accident. Let my husband or my wife escape every accident. Say every accident. He said, at first I could comment, but it was indicating that something happened and it's, uh, it's being worked on shortly. Just comment. When you comment, that is what they will write to you, but just comment. Just comment. It will appear. They will write to you that way, but it will appear. You know, Facebook, they are, they are making a lot of changes. So they have been giving such notification. They are making a lot of changes on their Facebook. They are, they are working on it. They are working on it. So just write your comment. It will appear. It will appear. When you write your comment, it will appear. Yes. Don't mind what they will write to you. Just write your comment. Write your comment. Yes. If you, if you, if you, you read what they, they write, you can't comment. Yes. So if you want to comment, just comment. Just comment. Yes. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, every premature death in this month of November, Father, we cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. Premature death. Premature death. We cancel it. We cancel it. Every appointment of death that we have. Any plans of the enemy, plans of the witches, plans of the wizard to take us to our airy grave. Father, we avert it. We avert it. We avert it. We avert it. We return back every arrows from the womb, from the camp, from the bottomless pit. We return it. Open your mouth and say, I return every arrows pointing at me, release at me, release to hit my children, release to kill me, release to kill my children. Children, in the name of Jesus Christ, these arrows backfire, backfire, backfire. Every arrows backfire, every arrows backfire, every arrows backfire, every arrows backfire, backfire, backfire. Say every trap that they have laid for me in this month, in the name of Jesus Christ, I escape it. Say I escape. Every hidden snail, every hidden trap, I escape it. I escape it. I escape it. Every hidden trap, every hidden snail, I escape it. I escape it. I escape it. Every accident ahead of me in this month, in this week, I escape. We escape. We escape. We escape. Every police arrest, we escape it. We escape it. We escape it. We escape it. We escape it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
Hallelujah. Go and get your water. Go and get your water, please. Get a bottle of water. Get a cup of water. If you have not shared the broadcast, please click on the share button for us. If you have not shared the broadcast, as you go for your water, click on the share button for us, please. Click on the share button for us. Click on the share button for us. As you make your water ready, please do well to click on the share button. Yes, as you make your water ready, click on the share button, please. Get your water for me. Get your water for me. Get your water for me. You know, all those that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. If you are here <coughs> and you've still, you haven't carried your baby. You know, many of our members are pregnant too. One of our sisters have been praying for her since last year. I don't know if she's pregnant. Today she sent me a message, Mommy, you don't see me because I'm tired. <laughs> she's five months pregnant. I'm tired, Mommy. I said, I, the game is not, it's not a small game. <laughs> yeah, the game is not a small game. You are calling miracle child. So just imagine how the pain is. So just bear it and try your best to come and pray. Yes, yeah, she's one of those that brought their prayer request last year when I was celebrating my birthday. Yes, all those that brought their prayer request last year when I was celebrating my birthday. Those, if you are here and you have not get yours, so let me have your name. Yes, if you brought your prayer request and still the baby is not there, you have not experience the baby in your womb let me have your name after the broadcast all of you must carry your miracle child you must carry your miracle babies yes and every child that god gives to you through this ministry nothing can abort or miscarry that baby nothing can miscarry that baby any blessing that you have received on the altar of Gaga, nothing can abort that blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. All those that are pregnant, all those that are carrying babies in our midst, I secure the babies in your womb. I cover the babies with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I apply the blood that have ransomed everything concerning our life. I apply and deploy the blood over the life of that baby in your womb. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything planning to abort this baby, let that thing be burning to ashes. Any power trying to abort the baby in your womb, let that power be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any job that you have received through this ministry, I preserve that job. Any job that you have received through this ministry, I preserve that job. Anybody who wants to drive you away from that working place, that your working place, let that person get mad and run away from that office or run away from that, 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 that field. In the name of Jesus Christ, anybody that wants to drive you away because he or she thinks you do not deserve or because he or she thinks you don't qualify for that job. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that person run away from that job. Let that person pack and go. In the name of Jesus Christ, anybody planning to take you to court, anybody planning to put you in prison, or put your husband in prison, or your son or your wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them fall into the trap that they have laid for you. Let them fall into the snare they have laid for you. Let the trap that they have laid for you, let them fall into their own trap. Let them fall into their own snare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all those with dreams of stolen cars, all those that had dream of somebody stealing your car, or of a missing car. Whatever property that the devil wants you to lose, I preserve it. Whatever property that the enemy wants to steal or lay hands on it, I preserve that property.
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All those that had dream. With dreams of missing car. Dreams of missing car keys. Dreams of missing your house key. Dreams of, of missing precious items. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare let there be divine recovery. Of everything missing in your life. Let there be divine recovery. Of everything missing in your life. I declare today. Whatever they are stolen from your life. Be your mobile phone, be your bag, be your house key, be your car key, be your cars, be your cars in the name of Jesus Christ. Be your, your, your ATM card. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released in the name of Jesus Christ. All those that your dream line are under attack. All those that you wait, you sleep and wake up that you forget your dreams. Put your hand on your forehead for me. All those that recently for the past three days. For the past three days you dream, but you wake up and you forget the dream. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate your senses again. Let the yoke of spiritual blindness be opened today. Let your spiritual sight be opened, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored. Let every veil of blindness covering your sight right now be removed. Let the veil covering, blocking your physical and spiritual sight. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let all dream attackers that has been released this week. Let that dream attackers be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let your spiritual sight be restored. 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 Let your eye begin to see like an eagle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your, your, your sight in the spirit realm be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break the yoke of forgetfulness. The yoke that is making you forget your dreams, it is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, I speak to your spiritual eyes. If at all, in the name of Jesus Christ, if at all, in the name of Jesus Christ, if at all, in the name of Jesus Christ, if at all, let your eyes be restored back. Let all dream attackers be arrested from your life. Eyes begin to see afar. See, Lord God Almighty, let new realms be opened unto us. Let us see like an eagle. Let us see hidden secrets, things around our life, things surrounding us, invisible demons fighting us. Open our eyes to see. Open our eyes to see the trap that they have set, the, the snow they have laid. Father, open our eyes. So that we can see. Let there be illumination. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are still jobless. Those that are still jobless. Lift up your hand. Don't write a comment. <coughs> Just lift up your hand within your, your spirit. Those that are still jobless. <laughs> Some of you have started feeling fire on your forehead. Some of you started feeling fire here. You started feeling fire like fire. From today, when you sleep, whatever you see, you, you wake up with it. You wake up with your dreams. From today, you remember your dream. As you move from here and you go to bed, everything happening around you and your family will be revealed to you. It is going to be revealed. To I'm seeing somebody, you are having this, how do you call it? Like, like dizziness. Is it dizziness? Yes, I've seen somebody if, like sometimes you feel a little bit darkness and you feel like falling. This thing, like you feel like falling, mm -hmm. so you have to sit in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever that thing came from, I cast it out of you. I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast it out. Whatever, wherever that thing came from, anything that I've come to live with you. 
Any disease that I've come to live with you, any sickness, any illness, bacteria, virus that I've come to live with you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast it out. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, out from the body. Now from your head to your toe, I cover you all. With the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from your head down to your toe, I cover you all. With the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I soak you in the blood. 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 Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. As I anoint my forehead this moment, I reverse the effect of satanic imprint in your life. The effect of satanic implant in your life. I reverse it. 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 The effect of satanic implant, demonic implant, demonic implant, anything implanted in you, anything implanted in you, anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast it out, I set fire on it, anything implanted in your head, to cause tumor, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, out! Be consumed. Le kabiande, makapaya dosa. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Anything implanted in you, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Anything implanted in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, out. Command it. Give it a command. Devil, you a liar. Devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Everything implanted in you. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I set it on fire. 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 Any satanic implant. Demonic implant. That causes addiction. 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 I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Satanic implant that causes deformity in the name of Jesus Christ. Be consumed by the consuming fire of Elohim. Be consumed. Be consumed. Be consumed. Any satanic implant that causes handicap, that causes inabilities, that causes dementia. Any satanic uh, power or spirit behind that dementia is under arrest. Is under arrest. It's under arrest. It's arrested, it's arrested, it's arrested in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satanic implant, demonic implant, demonic implant that causes dementia, that causes dementia, that causes dementia in the name of Jesus Christ. Satanic implant that causes dementia in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out, out, burn into ashes, 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 burn into ashes. Every evil spirit behind dementia, 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 stroke in the name of Jesus Christ, cancer, cancer in the head. 
cancer in the in the cervical in the name of jesus christ burn into ashes receive fire right now burn into ashes receive fire right now burn into ashes 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 he cut that bow zebra and day rubber bubble let cabian day my cup and let and turn my my cup and day my cup i adore let the robo my son diamond so broke to the end of my cup and let and turn my my cup and day my cup i adore let the robo my son diamond breast cancer cervical cancer prostate cancer Problems in your kidney, problems in the bladder, problems in the lungs, problems in your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare liberation. Be loosed, 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 be loosed. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be loosed. Like Kabiande, Makapaya Dosa, every attack on your heart, every attack on your kidney, high blood pressure, belows, 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 every pain in the body, body pains, body pains, right now, belows, body pains, belows, body pains, belows, menstrual disorder, premature menopause, abdominal pain, severe pains, in the name of Jesus Christ, be restored, 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 every abnormalities be corrected, be corrected, be corrected, severe abdominal pain, severe abdominal pain, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, be restored, 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 he cut that double, see prayer day, be restored, every problem, every problem, severe headache, backbone, pains in your backbone, pains in your spinal cord, in the name of Jesus Christ, be restored, 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 be restored. He cut that double, see pray and day, rubber baba, let cap your day, my cap a your dosa, let the robot my swing diamond, be restored, be restored, cancers, compromisation of organ, anything compromising your organs, any attack on your organs, any attack on your intestine, any attack on your kidney, any attack on your brother, any attack on your womb, be restored, be restored, let that attack, he cut that double, be lifted, difficulties in breathing, difficulties in breathing, difficulties in breathing, in the name of Jesus Christ, be restored. Be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored. What is holding your heart, making it difficult to breathe? Let it lose. Yes. Any satanic blockages. Whatever is blocking your kidney, blocking your tissues, your veins. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every blockages be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I pray the blood of Jesus over you. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I soak your head. That severe headache. Let it disappear. I soak that tumor. That tumor that has started germinating. That cancer that want to stay in your head that want to live in your head anything seated on your head area tormenting your head tormenting your brain tormenting your brain let it us i unseat it let it disappear let it disappear let it disappear let it disappear anything seated on your head right now in the name of jesus christ fire of god unseat it 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 anything making you difficult to reason difficult to even think well in the name of Jesus Christ let everything uh, bind in your head that cobweb that they've used to tie your head to confuse you to frustrate you let it catch fire let it catch fire let it catch fire let it catch fire let your kidney be loosed 
your kidney, from your throat down to your belly, whatever that is under attack, just to kill you, just to take you to your early grave, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be loosed, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Dreams of sleeping, sleeping with people, having sexual intercourse, so tight relationship all demons behind all these things you are under arrest i consume you with fire i summon you all right now i summon you all right now all demons that has been getting access to sleep with people in this ministry i summon you all and i consume you with fire i release fire to separate you live their life live their life live their life live their life anything that you've deposited in them i flash it out with the blood of jesus christ i flash out their system i flash out their womb i flash out their kidney I flush out their heart, their chest area, their backbone, their lungs, their intestine, their inst intestine, their brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, I flush out, I flush out, I flush out, I flush out. Now I declare healing, permanent healing, permanent healing, permanent healing. Let it possess you, the healing power of Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha. Let it possess you, the healing hand of Jehovah Rapha be upon you be upon you be upon you be upon you receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing take it yes 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 any sickness destiny to take you to your early grave is destroyed today any sickness destiny to destroy you destiny to take you to your early grave it is destroyed it is destroyed it is destroyed it is destroyed in the name of jesus christ every sickness diseases virus bacteria 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 infection virus infections that has been destined to take you to your early grave today that elohim has visited our destiny today that god almighty has visited our life that thing is destroyed by fire it 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 is destroyed by by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, I enter into the satanic camp. Yes. Yes. If you want to, you know, if you want to comment, click on somebody's comment and just open that comment section on your phone. You can comment till you finish. If you want to comment, you know, as Ohima Ama has commented, just try to reply Ohima Ama, and from there you can comment. I think that is how they have made the group, yes. So uh, you try to reply somebody's comment, and it will open you to your comment. Don't close it. You can comment till we finish. That is how they have made it. You know, as we keep using it, you know how to go about it. They restricted it, so there are so many things I've even forget. There are so many things. They frustrated this page more than six months. More than six months. You know, when, when they cross another way, God opened a new way. I don't know what pursues them to open it. I don't know what pursues them. When they cross Gega Global Prayers, that are paid, they've crossed it. When you post something, it doesn't even go. They have, they have crossed it. They have crossed it. So as they crossed it, I was thinking, God, what should I do? Should I stop? And I came on Facebook. I saw this is working. I said, ah. You always make a way where there is no way. He is the way maker. Yeah. That will make you understand that we serve a God who is a way maker. When it is left to the seconds for you to be disgraced, God will show up. Yes. He will appear. He will appear in your fire. So when you are in fire, don't say you are alone. He's the fourth man. That was with uh, uh, Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was the fourth man. And he is still with us. Hallelujah. Say, Lord God Almighty. <laughs> Something I've entered my room. I, I can perceive the smell. Mm. Something I've entered here. I don't know what you are coming to do. But whatever you are coming to do, don't worry. Okay? 
Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I can perceive a smell, a good perfume. Something I've entered. I keep telling you when something enters, sometimes they come with a different perfume when you are praying and they, they, they manifest. They manifest like that you can feel. Yeah, you can feel it. Anywhere, anywhere that your destiny has been buried, today that God has visited us to restore our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ, I unbury your destiny. Wherever they've covered your destiny, I came to uncover it. I uncover it. I uncover it. I uncover it. Anything that they've stolen from your life to make you empty, to make you useless, to make you hopeless in the name of Jesus Christ, I release it back. Receive it. Receive it. Take it back, take it back, take it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that they have buried, covered, or sat on it, that is making you confused, hopeless, and weak-handed. Today, I release it back. All those that have stolen your items, it has been released. And you find a confirmation of these prayers in your dream. Everything taken away from your life has been released back. Anything that has been stolen from your life from day one till now, it has been restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive it back. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive it back. Let me pray one prayer point for you. The whole of this week, many of you have started getting dreams of blessings. Dreams of receiving money, dreams of plucking fruit, dreams like a good dream. All the dreams that you are receiving this week, within this week, all the audios and text messages that I'm getting is a good dream. And I preserve it in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will try to terminate that joy that is on the way coming, let fire of God consume it. Anything that will try to terminate that joy in the name of Jesus Christ, I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. Every blessing that God has bestowed on you, let it manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the speeding of God be upon it. I come against any delaying. I come against promise and fail. I come against failure at the edge of breakthrough. I come against incompletion. In in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every blessings that you have received, I preserve it in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Take your water. Lord God Almighty, I turn this water in our hand into your precious blood. As this water enters into our body, Lord God Almighty, let your blood begin to flow from our head area, our head region to our feet region. Father, let the water wash out anything that is not supposed to be in us. Flash out anything that is not supposed to be in us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, I thank you. As your children take this water, give them healing. Give them testimony to your glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Take your water. God bless you. Lord God Almighty, as your children are drinking the water, let your power possess them. Let your healing power possess them. Let your healing power possess them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for all givers in this ministry. All those that today is their birthday. Oh Lord, I use my son as a point of contact for all those that today is their birthday. I pray that Lord God Almighty, you bless them. You deliver them from the hands of their enemies. You destroy every evil plans against their destiny. That anything that the devil stole from their life on the day that they arrive on this earth, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you restore them on this day. 
anything connecting their umbilical cord and their placenta to evil kingdom. Father, I disconnect them. I disconnect all those that today is their birthday. I disconnect them from every evil altar. Altars from their paternal background that will make them useless. Altars from their maternal background that will make them useless. I disconnect them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this day bring joy. Let this day bring peace. Let this day bring fulfillment in their life. Let this day, this month, all those that November is their birthday, the first week and the second week. Lord God Almighty, I pray whatever being their heart desire, you deliver unto them, preserve them, protect them in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. All the tightest and givers in this ministry, receive blessings from God. Receive heavenly blessing. Receive divine visitation. Whatever you've been taking money to bless this ministry, may the God that have called me for race, God that have called me for Gentiles, God that has called me for nations, in the name of Jesus Christ, may he bless you. From today, may you never lack. May the increase of Elohim be your portion. Whatever you've been taking money from to pay tithe, to pay offering, may God keep his commandment. The God that has said he who gives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive the blessings of a prophet. He who gives in the name of a ministry shall receive the blessings of a ministry. Whatever name that you have given, receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. Receive your blessings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In times of difficulties, may the graces upon my head fight for you. May the favor upon the life of my children fight for you. May everything that God has said concerning your life from today, may it come to pass. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy birthday to all those that today is your birthday. Uh, God bless you all. We shall meet the next day. God willing, tomorrow we will not come today. I'm very tired. Though. When I came, I did not even finish preparing my message because we didn't return early. We didn't return early. Mm -hmm. Those of you that have been following me on, on TikTok, so me TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. We were in car. I don't have anything to do. My boss will not let us come home. Mm -hmm. You know he doesn't like the house. Oh. When he go outside, he wants to stay outside. We just go and park somewhere. Go and park on the park. Talk road, talk road, talk road, talk road, talk road. Mm -mm -mm. We will not come early. So we came, I came, I was in a rush to prepare my message. It wasn't easy. Yes, but God is our strength. God bless you all. <coughs> God bless you. Please, those that today is your birthday, celebrate with my son. Please. So that we can buy candy for one of the villages. Or we can buy biscuits. To deliver to them, God willing, tomorrow or the next day. If today is your birthday or your son's birthday, please, let's join together. Come and join me so that we can buy some biscuit or exercise books for just to plant a seed on their life on a specific day like this. Because a day like this, a day that you were born or your child is born, any good thing that you do, it is activated on the destiny of the child. It is very, very important. The day that you were born, you know, I keep teaching you so many things that if you are under a curse or you are even under a spell, the day that you celebrate your birthday, plant a seed, sow a seed, do something. Do something. Do something so that it will replace the curses. When 10 people even say, God bless you, no matter how bigger that one person curse is, it will replace it. That blessing will overcome that curse. That is the meaning of we all the time begging people on occasion like this, yes, to come to our aid so that we can be a blessing unto the life of people. If you can give my son 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, please let him have it so that he can go and bless the life of people. Yeah, we want to cook for village or we just want to share some candies or some sweet to them on this day. For him, he told me he doesn't like any cake. He wants a bicycle. That is his birthday for him. You know, children, they, they don't face where we are facing. 
they don't know any cake they don't care about any cake mm, they have their priority yes so if god touches your heart and you have anything to give or you can give us 10 exercise books or you can give us a pen to just distribute to the children or you can give biscuits please let us have it let us have it god willing next week we'll be going to the prisons we've got that little I think that is how far we will get it. So we have to go and donate like that. Some is not coming again. Some is not coming again. If you wish to go with us, to go and you were not ready, now you are ready. We are going next week. Because we are waiting if you can get some to add up. Some to add up, yes. So that we can buy some stuff. But we have waited and waited. I think the little that we have get, we should go and do to the glory of God. But if you have been had to go and you can give 10, you can give 20, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And God Almighty will bless us. God bless you. If you are new and you don't know our number, the number is plus 233-544-947273. Plus 233-544-947273. Yes. Any cash app that you use, that is the number. If you use any cash app, it is MTN Mobile Money Account. The name on it is Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. The country is Ghana. If you are using SendWave or World Remit, yes, or Tap Tap Send or Remitry, the name is Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. The number is plus 233-544-947273. Please, if you send it and it is for my son's birthday, to buy pen or to buy book, be specific. If you want to give to the prisoners also, be specific. Yes, I don't want to take something that does not belong to me. Yes, so if you want to give my son birthday gift to buy books for his schoolmate, let us know it is for him. And if you are donating towards the prisons that we are going next week, you must also be specific. God bless you, all those that has been helping us to to reach the life of those in need your effort will never be in vain everything that you have sold you reap it everything that you have sold even if you don't reap your children will reap your children will find favor in the sight of strangers people that they do not know they will help you see it it will marvel your children but it is because of what you are sowing in the life of strangers i see Terry, i don't know kenyans I, I don't even, I, I can't even speak their language, but I feel within me to bless them because I want to activate that favor of having favor in the sight of strangers, people that are not family members, people that are not relatives, people that will help you from all dimensions. Yes. So if you also want to activate such favors for your family and your seed, anything that we do, even if it is 20, that is your strength. Add it up. If it is 30 that you can afford, do it. If it is 10, God knows you have only 10. The father you have given, the day that Jesus Christ was beside the offering board, the people came with big, big, big money. Those that have, they are not interested in doing this thing that we are doing. It is we that we do not have. It is we that we do not have. You know, your bell may be on, but you try to, like you are like you are replying somebody's message every day when we come. Like as soon as I write a comment, try to reply it. Or you see anybody, everybody, when you come, you try to comment so that people try to reply and they'll get access to comment. When you open that, you don't close it till we close. You, you keep commenting. When you try to reply somebody's comment, you try to reply somebody's comment, you can comment till we close because when you try to comment directly, they will tell you you have to join the group before you can comment. So please take note. Take note. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. You share the video. You like the video. And you like our page. Yes, when you like the video, I will send you uh, an invite to our page. You know, we are building our new page. Oh. <laughs> gradually, gradually. We are building our new page. Those that have started giving, God bless you. 
God bless you. If you want the PayPal also, I can send you the PayPal link. If you want Zilli in United States of America, I will give you Zilli. Those in US, if you have 10 and you want to give, please use the Zilli. Because Western Union, they will take all. Yes, if you are in US and you want to give 10, we have a new Zilli number, I will give you. If you are in Ghana, use the MTN number. Yes, MTN number. Just send me a message. <laughs> uh, Bonza say can't comment. Bonza, I can see your comment too. You try to reply somebody's comment because I can see your comment now. Yeah, I think we'll have time. God willing, tomorrow when I get time, I will I will come live in the evening. I will try and come live and and let us all have ha, know how we can just go about it because we have to we have to be used to it so that when we come, we will feel normal like we were on our former page. Yes, that is the battle we are all fighting. It's not only me, we are all fighting. We are all fighting this battle and we are going to win together. We are going to win. When they block it, we will go and open a new channel. When they block it, we will open new one. Don't care about the views. Care about the platform that we can get to pray. If it is 10 people, that will come. Don't worry. They are, they are the people God have destined them for this group. Because there are many fake platforms, false platforms with millions of people that are from evil kingdom. The devil will never let the genuine ones so survive. Because genuine ones, when 10 people meet to pray, when 10 people meet to pray, they, they destroy so many things in the kingdom of darkness. So they don't want that way. They do not want it. If I was supposed to be those wearing this wave once and putting on eyelashes, you see how the devil promotes me. Because at least many people will see the eyelashes, they will see the nails is a form of advertising for the devil. So the devil will give you the platform. That is their, 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 their mission. Mm -hmm. That is their mission. That is their mission. So whatever that comes away, the Lord is our strength. Please, when you come, you do where to share for us. You be a sharer. Be a sharer. When you be a sharer, you share on your timeline. Many people will just join us. God bless you. God bless you. Lift up your hand as you share the grace and go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So help me, God. Amen. You know, recent, now the cold has started. Take good care of yourself. Especially those with babies. Please wear the children well so that cold do not enter them. Keep them well. Keep yourself clean. When you wake up in the morning, drink a little lukewarm water to make you hot. Drink more water so that your body also do not dehydrate. When your body dehydrates, you start feeling pain in your backbone. Please. When it is cold, many people don't feel like drinking water, but try your best to drink. Whether you are thirsty or you are not thirsty, for your healthy sake, drink. At least every hour, just drink a cup. Just drink a cup. Try your best to drink more water so that your body do not dehydrate. Drink more water. It is cold. The cold has started today. When we went outside, I came on oh my nose. <laughs> I can't know. I don't know. I don't know how to live in cold. But this person will not let you be. He will take you there. And whether you like it or not, you follow him. So I just go and come. I was feeling cold. I came and sit down just five minutes. It was time. So please take good care of yourself. We are praying. Be vigilant. Open your eyes. Yes. And God Almighty will help us. God bless you. Uh, take the WhatsApp number. If you have anything, just send to me on WhatsApp. Shalom.